answer may not be what people are wanting to hear, but the environmental health group who takes care of those issues is working hard to prevent things like this from happening on a regular basis. Pasta, bread, even some wine, all things you expect to see on an Italian restaurant's menu. But for Chia Barajas, what he said came on his plate had him out the door before the first course was even over. I ate three bites out of it, and next thing I know, I see lettuce moving, and I was like, what is that? Take a closer look. That right there, it's a beetle. That was a black beetle with pinchers. I mean, still kicking. Yeah, he was he was a good inch and a half big. Aside, he definitely did not order with his meal. I've never had that. I've never, uh, yeah, not a good salad topping. While the beetle was not on the menu, Sean May with the Amarillo Environmental Health Department says bugs are no strangers to the restaurant industry. It probably uh, happens more than all of us would like to see. I don't know if I'd say it's common, but, but we do get reports from time to time. According to those reports, Johnny Carinos is visited by inspectors at least once every 45 days, a standard in Amarillo. If we find a violation, we're doing a follow-up inspection. So it's a very serious thing, and, and we spend, a, you know, my staff can, spends a considerable amount of their time uh, in restaurants working with restaurant owners uh, to, to make it safe for the public. And when situations like this happen? We're going to go back, and we're going we're gonna to really look, do a thorough inspection of, of the kitchen. Things to look out for to help keep the bugs out include patching holes in walls or ceilings, keeping food stored off the ground, and making sure screens on windows and doors are properly installed. As for Brajas, the restaurant sent him a $50 gift card, but it's something he does not plan on using. I'm not eating salads anymore. I'm a meditarian, so that's, that's it. I'm, <laughs> I'm done. We were able to take a look at Johnny Carino's restaurant inspections. Overall, they seemed fine, and in situations where there were violations for things like heating or cooling foods to proper temperatures, the issue was pointed out and fixed within a matter of days before the next follow-up inspection. Reporting live in the studio, Colleen Nelson, News Channel 10.